Well, hello there. This is Chad. Um, just wanted to thank everybody for uh, checking this video out. And also uh, wanted to thank everybody who's purchased the, the shirts that are on l6gear.com. L6GEAR.com. Um, we also have the uh, uh, screen protectors uh, available not only for uh, the Helix, but also the uh, uh, AX8 and, and others are coming. And as well as the protective covers that allow you to use all of the foot switches um, and, and keep your unit uh, fairly well protected from accidental spills. So, and also dust. So, uh, thank you for that. It helps me keep the lights on here, and uh, um, away we go. Now, what I'm going to endeavor to do here is to set out to create a, a preset that has <clears throat> very easily, very easily, just quickly, a, a preset that sounds really good and is quick to build. I'm not going to get into how, uh, how how to do everything. It's just showing how quick and easy it is to go ahead and and uh, to go ahead and create a preset in comparison to how easy it is with the AXA. So here we go. So first off, we're going to start with an amp and cab. And I'm going to make it a archetype clean along with I'm going to send the output down to the second line for DSP splitting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a reverb down here. Let's go ahead and put a 63 spring. And I'm going to add a stereo delay. Transistor tape. Pick it up. I'm going to drop it around there. I am going to add a chorus, stereo chorus. And we'll add a drive. And a compressor. Let's assign the compressor here. And drive here oops drive here chorus here and delay here first test hold on
Okay, so there you have it. It really didn't take that long. You you can create a good patch um, in very quick order. Very simple. Now let's see how it's done with the AX8. Alrighty. Okay, so here we are. We got the blank slate. Let's uh, go ahead and call this one Quick. Preset. All right. Let's uh, save it. All right. Okay, so first off, you have all this empty space. So let's go ahead and right click, and we're going to add an amp. And then we will choose um, let's let's just choose a Friedman version one. Let's just call that that. That sounds good to me. And then let's uh, choose a cab. And I'm gonna choose the ultra high res. That's fine. And I'm gonna choose. Um, this one right here. No, you know what? So much choice, so much choice. Uh, right here. There it goes. I don't even know if it's the best sounding. There's just so, so many. And then what you have to do is you have to connect them. Connect it there. And connect it here. So input and connect it there. All right, we get cap. Fine. Um, then we're gonna right click and we're gonna add a uh, just like the other a drive. We'll choose drive one. Drive one will be. I just want a boost. Uh, fat, uh, let's see, fast boost. There you go. All right. And I pass up gauge. Turn it off. And then we're going to right click and I want a compressor. Uh, let's see, studio compressor. Let's just leave it, leave it at that. And then we want to add a reverb. Let's add a reverb. Just kind of make this the same way. Reverb. <clears throat> Choose a spring like the other one. Medium spring, fine. And we're going to add a delay. Tape, mono tape, stereo tape. Right there. All right. All right, there it is. And now we will make some adjustments. I'm going to turn the drive down. Turn it 
turn the fat switch on. Now this is where it gets into the things that I do like about the AX8. Anyway, uh, it was fairly easy to create a preset as long as you make sure and you follow some procedures. Okay, so now how do we assign foot switches? Let's say, uh, let's put the compressor here. Pretty easy, it's drag and drop. And then uh, delay and reverb. And you'll note that it gets assigned. One of the irritating things about this is the communication pause, click to resume, but Anytime you interact, there it is. So, there you have it. Easy enough. Tons and tons and tons, not only to inspire you in the AX8, but also one of the drawbacks is to get lost <clears throat> so that's just that's just my opinion i i think i prefer the helix if if i could have both i i would this is going back to a very nice gentleman who loaned it to me and i i thank you for watching uh again uh we have the um screen protectors right here so Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.